Come have a break. <laughs> you can do it, man. Hello and um, thank you very much for this interview. Could you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Natasha. Um, a calisthenics athlete. Okay. Um, I live in Camden, so this is my local car park. Okay. Um, it's nice to see you. I see you. Um, well, we filmed you doing some great manoeuvres here today. Um, what's your experience? What's your background in um, calisthenics? So. I was a gymnast for about 15 years as a child. Okay. And then I recently got into calisthenics during the lockdown. So okay. I think around like November time, I started doing calisthenics. So how long have you been actually doing? I mean, I know you said you were a gymnast, but the actual part of calisthenics? Um, so I've probably been training for like, we're in June, like seven months. Seven months. Well, you've got some fantastic results. Yeah. I mean, we don't see a lot of um, females in the park. We do. They're a bit shy. I mean, um, what was your experience being like in the parks? Yeah, no, it's been fine. I've made like some really good friends. I knew some people who trained here already. So okay. It was kind of easy to come down and get started. And everyone here is so friendly. Everyone encourages each other, and it's a really nice community. So I mean, a lot of people passing might be intimidated by. A lot of um, grunting guys and <laughs> sweating hard, and they might be intimidated by the atmosphere. But you're saying it is quite friendly; they can come along. Yeah, no, I definitely I prefer like outdoor gyms to indoor gyms. Right. I feel a lot more like free. I guess that's maybe just me, but um, I've definitely enjoyed training outside instead of indoors. Even like when the gyms are like, well, to be honest, they were forced to when the gyms were closed. Yeah. But, um, now this is just like my preference to train. So you you definitely recommend it. So um, you just mentioned the lockdown. I was going to mention that um, during the lockdown, how did you, uh, how was your fitness? How did you manage to maintain it? You said you came to the park. Yeah, so I trained a mixture of like indoors and outdoors. So I carried on doing body weight exercises at home. I've always kind of done that because coming from a gymnastic background, it's kind of the training that I'm used to. Okay, um, just give us a little touch on what what would be your typical kind of home workout? Not tip, uh, what, what, what what would be your bread and butter? So I do a lot of cool work, a lot of abs, glutes. Okay. I'm also a dancer, so okay. that's where I get a lot of my fitness. Okay. And what kind of dancing do you? I'm a salsa dancer. Salsa, oh, fantastic. So um, all of these elements obviously help towards your fitness. Definitely, yeah. Like dancing, even during lockdown, we carried on Classes, so okay. Like oh, you done a lot of online classes. Yeah, training with my group, like just in our own home, across the internet. Fantastic. Um, let's ma let's mention a little bit about diet. What kind of diet do you maintain? If you do maintain any kind of strict diet, what, what kind of um, food do you mess with? I wouldn't say my diet is strict. Um, okay. I would say I eat like a, a, a like healthy, um, balanced diet. I try okay. and kind of do a couple of days meat free. Meat free. In the week. Well, and how how does that work for you? More meat free days. Um, so I incorporate a lot of pulses into my diet. So okay. I get enough protein, eggs. Um, and, and how does that um, leave you physically? I mean, how how does it affect your training? Which, uh, I haven't seen really a difference. I guess with the meat, I feel less kind of heavy and bloated. Okay. So that's kind of suited me well, especially with dancing. Um, and yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a keeping strict though. I enjoy kind of. You enjoy your meat too. And like, um, fish and you know. McDonald's. Oh, pleasures. Not. I wouldn't <laughs> say fast food. Yeah. But like. But it's I'm it's not it's strict it's like with what I. So you're saying it's important to, to have a cheat day and, and just balance it, good just and bad? balance it, yeah. I wouldn't even say like a cheat day, I just Just be realistic. Kind of Fantastic. Okay. 
And um, one more thing, um, how about the mental aspects of working out? I mean, how do you feel if you don't work out? Uh, is it the same feeling as if you do work out? No, for me, like, exercise is a must. Like, it really helps me with my mental health. Um, I'm a very active person in general, yeah, so... You can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Most, so, I don't spend a lot of time at home. I'm always, oh, like, you're always out doing working something. or dancing or training. So, for me, being active is like... Is a must. <laughs> so there's going to be some people looking at this video, men and women, and they're going to think, "Wow, I like to do some of that stuff that that young lady's doing." I mean, what kind of um, encouragement would you give them? I mean, they're at home and they, they probably haven't been to the gym, they haven't been to the park. What kind of advice would you give them? Yeah, I just say, you know, like start with the basics, anything you know, to begin with, the basics, um, basic core exercises. I'd say core is probably the most important, right? Especially like for your long-term health and like your back and so the back and the stomach region is very important yeah, if exactly. you're not if you don't do anything at all exactly so i'd say start off with like maybe four try and incorporate a bit of cardio into your week good advice and wrist wall, some skipping skipping is quite fun if you haven't tried skipping yes that's good or dancing you know dancing is great so um, as long as we're moving just just get that, that let's get the initial movement yeah. going i mean i would say for me, like dancing is the funnest kind of exercise. So right. if you even go and try and do like maybe a zumba class or um, you know, a step, something to music, it's yeah, like, makes it a lot. Fun. So get the get, get the funny involved. It's not all yeah. it's not all serious and boring. Exactly, exactly. And like just try and vary, like keep your exercise varied, like mix it up a bit. Because I'm somebody I don't really typically like doing reps or sets. And right. I, like I think a lot of people a lot of people feel like that. You get to the so gym and they just. The kind of results, but at least I enjoy the journey. <laughs> so, 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 you, so you're saying enjoyment is important. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, there's very lot of uh, information in this video, and it's um, very informative. I'd like to thank you for this video, and I'd like to let the people know that you've been watching Health and Wealth. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.